So, I don't normally do videos like these. Um, on occasion, I will talk about video game trailers and whatnot. But this time, I was like, you know what? I'll talk about it because this looks fun. Like, this, like at first, I wasn't going to be like, all right, I'm not going to talk about this. I, I'm not going to give this much mind. But then, when I watched the trailer, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll I'll talk about it. I'll uh I'll I'll give this uh, I'll give this some talk. And that, my friends, is um the new video game we got called Nicktoons All Star Brawl. I know it's called Nickelodeon. I'm just shortening it down. So Nicktoons All Star Brawl is it's literally Smash with Nicktoon. That's all it is. It's literal. Like you watch the trailer, it's literally the same game mechanics verbatim for a Smash game. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I mean. Smash has been co uh, has been um, copied multiple times. Play um, PlayStation did that with uh, PlayStation All Stars. They done that multiple times. So yeah, I'm not cr saying that's a bad thing. It's I'm just saying it's literally just Smash Nickelodeon characters. It's fine. There's no there's no shame in that. There there is no shame to you know copy one of the greatest crossover video games of all times. So there's no shame in that. People have done that before and will continue to do so. So there's no shame. But what really made me go, you know what, I really want to talk, do a quick video talking about this, was the lineup they have showed. Now, right out the gate, it's not, you'd think like Spongebob would be the first, and he is in the game. Spongebob is in the game. I mean, it's a Nickelodeon game, of course you're going to have a friggin' Spongebob. But the first character that shows up is Michelangelo. Like, the first character they introduce is Michelangelo, and it's not Ry Rise version of Nicola of, um, it's not the Rise of the TMNT, or even the 2012 TMNT Michelangelo. It's 80s not Michelangelo. It's classic, uh, like, classic OG 80s Michelangelo's here. And Leonardo's the same way. Like, Leo and Mikey are both 80s. I thought that was really, that was a really cool choice, because normally, they would really, Nickelodeon tends to hype up the incarnation they have out now. So, I initially thought, because I knew TMNT was going to be here, so I was like, okay, it's going to be Rise or 2012 cartoon versions. Nope, 80s. Yeah, maybe they'll, maybe they'll have character skins. Like, I would not put it past them to have, like, extra character skins where you can switch out to, like, the Rise or 2012 cartoons. I expect they'll probably have character skin, maybe DLC character skins, you know, if you really want to milk this out. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, so that was really cool. We didn't get to see Donnie or Raph here, but I, I, I'm, pro I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like you. Like you're gonna have all the TMNT here, so I have no doubt about that. So seeing Leo and Mike here, and then we got other characters just show up, and oh boy, I got excited. We had Powdered Toast Man show up. Powdered Toast Man, leave everything to me. So I was really excited. Uh, I hope they have, like, his game mechanics where he flies backwards. Oh, 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 that's great. Classic Ren and Stimpy character. You have Oblina show up, and I was like, oh, from Ah Real Monsters! Oh, that's so cool! I'm kind of hoping we get, you know, the Gromble here. It'd be fun. Um, uh, who else showed up that made that surprised me? Lincoln didn't surprise me when Lincoln showed up, along with Lucy. That didn't surprise me. Same with Sandy, Patrick, and SpongeBob. That didn't surprise me. Danny showed up in the game, and for some reason, Danny has laser vision now, like white eye beams. I was like, could they just not do his ectoblast? Because I didn't see him do the ectoblast in any part of the game, or maybe they, he did, and I just missed that. But like, yeah, Danny has heat vision, white heat vision now. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe so, so I'm I'm sure someone's gonna go. No, actually, that's his fro that's his frost powers. They just made it into a vision. I was like. All right. Maybe maybe it's his frost vision. Maybe that. But it's so like platinum white. It's not even like a freezing like a freezing look. It's just. Yeah. Maybe it's supposed to be like his his frost vision his frost powers or something. I don't know. But it it didn't look like that. <laughs> Anyway, so you had Zim alongside Gur as, like, I guess his assist character, which is really cool. Um, you had Lucy, like I said. You had, um... Yeah, there were some Oh, and the one that made me go, yes! <laughs> it, it was... Nigel freaking Thornberry is in this game. Smashing! So now you can really go... Now you can really have a smashing good time. 
Yeah, when Nigel Thornberry showed up in the game, it, like as a playable character in this trailer, I was like, "This game is now is now epic. It's now like something perfect." It, it, boys, we got something beautiful here. <laughs> so yeah, it's like I said, same game mechanics as Smash. No, no shame in that. But it makes me wonder of what other characters could show up in this game. I'm really hoping for some like since they're really digging in the nostalgia barrel. I would really love to see some fun characters since we had Oblina here. I really want to see Ren and Stimpy here. Um, I would really love to see um, Rudy from Chalk Zone because Rudy has the chalk. And you could do some really cool stuff with him um, in this game. So Rudy from Chalk Zone would be really fun. Um, uh, El Tigre. I would love to see Manny here. Um, I would love... Uh, we had Helga too. Helga was another surprise. So maybe we could get, I don't know, Arnold here? Arnold and Eugene? Or, like, Helga was a surprise. That was fun. Um, who else would be great here? Um, Mr. Horse would be a lot of, like, Mr. Horse, like, at the end of the game, if he loses, he's like, hmm, no, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> and what shocked me was not a single Avatar or Legend of Korra character um, was shown in the trailer, so maybe they'll appear later. Um, I'm I'm hoping Aang, like the ones I think will probably be if we get Legend of Korra and Avatar characters, are probably going to be Aang, Korra, Azula, and Zuko. It's probably going to be those four, uh, and that depends on how big this roster is, barring D uh, DLC characters. Um, I'm also pretty sure we're going to get at least two more Loud Sisters, and I'm going to say it's going to be Lin, Lin Loud. Or, or it's going to be either Luann... Uh, Lynn's a definite. I think Lynn is a definite of the sisters. Because she it, like you could do so much with the athleticism. But the other one is going to be a wild card. It's either going to be Luna or Luann. Because Luann... Like, this game's supposed to be goofy. So I could see her using like, all these goofy pranks. Luna would probably be like using a lot of her guitar and music and whatnot. And they're not going to have Ember McClain here, sadly. So I might you might as well just put the other character here. Um, who can use uh, use a guitar. Um, I would really love to see, uh, like I said, El Tigre. Vlad would be really fun. Vlad would be a great character here. Um, since we have Danny, it'd be nice to have more than one. Uh, just Danny. Jenny! Where's Jenny? Like, get get XJ9 here. Yeah. You think I wasn't going to add her, like, include her? Jenny is another great, would be another great addition to this game. Um... And maybe just from uh, make my caveman brain all happy. If you have El Tigre, can you get Black Cuervo too? Zoe needs to be here. Um, I don't think we're gonna get Ladybug characters because the rights are now over at the distribution rights are now over at Disney. Um, so probably not gonna get like Ladybug characters here. Um, trying to think of like who else? Shredder. Yeah, Shredder. Let's. Get, it'll probably be 80 Shredder, which that's like that's not a knock. That's like really cool. Maybe 80s Bebop and Rocksteady 2 or Krang would be fun. Um, maybe one, since we have Azula, maybe Kuvira would be a fun one, or Amon, Zaheer, probably. I don't know. I would just want to do a quick video talking about this, because this was looked so much fun. Oh, one more character, Donnie. Since we have Nigel here, let's get one more Wild Thornberry's character with Donnie. <laughs> That'd be, like, could you imagine the moveset he would have? That would just be hysterical. Um, uh, so, yeah, see, uh, so I just wanted to do a quick video talking about this and just like, yeah, I might want to actually play this. This actually looks like a lot of fun. So you guys tell me in the comments below, uh, what did you guys think of the trailer for Nicktoon's All-Star Brawl? Are you guys excited or guys not? And what Nicktoon characters do you want to see here? We're probably going to get Power Ranger characters because they're over at Hasbro now. So, yeah, we're probably not going to get Power Ranger characters, but mm, we could still get a lot of TMNT characters, just saying. Anyway, so just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.